we're back with another unboxing. So this crazy parcel is 19 pounds of briars. That's a lot, but it's okay. It's okay. It makes great YouTube content for all of you guys who love watching unboxing videos. Who wouldn't want to order this many briars at once? I know it's like a dream come true for me. So this lady emailed me and she had a bunch of briar horses she wanted to get rid of. And she didn't really like know where to start and where to go with them. She wanted to give them to me basically. So she did. She gave me all of these models for no cost. I just had to cover the shipping charge, which wasn't terrible considering the models didn't cost me anything. So I'm very, very thankful. My intention with the majority of these guys is to actually keep them as projects. She gets them out of her house, I get a sweet new projects, and we get this epic unboxing. Sounding a little janky in there, she's not a briar person, she's never done this before. Don't judge my packing job and my packing materials and all that. So we'll see what we get. <laughs> oh, she wasn't kidding. Wow. I love the crazy things I've opened out of boxes. We have a lot of egg cartons. Egg, egg, all of the egg cartons you could have ever dreamed of. I am not gonna lie, that was not what I was expecting. And they're all wrapped in stuff. I don't know what you call this, but this is actually great because you can just recycle it. I said she didn't have to try too hard because most of these guys will be sacrificed to the briar gods. Oh my gosh. All right, friend. It's Kimasabe. Kima sausage. I don't have one of these. I've never seen one of these in real life. So that's actually really cool. It's been known for being the most sausage. <laughs> I feel like I should add him to my living room decor. Oh, he's cute. So this is a San Domingo. I collect this mold. I actually really like this one. I want to customize one of these guys as well. So all of these guys are like super vintage -y. This guy is the Marine Love Arabian Stallion. I want to do more Marine Love work. I love her sculptures. Oh yay! This is Rugged Lark. So this is another older mold. I've always really liked him though. This one's Lita. I don't remember what the mold name of this one is. And another one. She's actually in really good condition though. I think this is Terang is the sculpture name. Oh, he's cute. It's a Pam! So, a nice little glossy Pam. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, this is a good one. These are gonna be like my best customs, most drastic customs, because all these molds are wonk, and I've never seen any of them in real life, but they're actually quite fun. Uh, this is Romier, is the name of the horse, I think. Whoa, this leg is like, Cool, though. Oh, he's cool. So this is the Foundation Stallion, and he is in the vintage splattery gray. I will probably keep him like that. Ooh, who's this? Thanks. Another one that would be really fun to redo. It's got a lot of pizzazz. He's fun. Another Maureen Love. Yeah, this is Swaps. Oh, and she's lovely. Very nice. Oh yeah, this one is fun. Chonky chonk. He's huge. He's massive. Oh, the good old Clydesdale Stallion. He'll be fine. A good chunk of plastic there. It keeps going. This one has a broken leg. Did it come with the leg? Is the leg in here? Or is it gone forever? Oh, I found it. One casualty. It's the grazing horse. Another Stormy. You can never have enough Stormies, I guess. One in an Amazon package. The running, I don't know any of these molds. Cantering something. I don't remember stable mates in the deal. Some more Marine Love. The old quarter horse full, but he's got like a really sad looking leg. We will 
help him out with his lameness. Oh, I love this one. I love this one so much. The pose is what makes it. It's Justin Morgan. I like the bob. Hey, another foundation stallion. This one is to customize. The color is terrible, so he will be customized. She's actually really cool. It's actually super cool. I don't know if I can customize her. This is Lady Faze, but like, I don't know what she is. She's an older model, so she may not hit the chopping block. Oh no, there's paper chunks. No, no, no. Cordova Yearling, Stock Course Yearling, Appaloosa Yearling. It's fun, because I don't really remember what exactly I got in this in this surprise. Ooh, this guy! He's cute too. Jingles, I remember, was the name of the briar that like they released on this mold. I don't think the name is Jingles though. Holy moly guys, this is a whole collection I've ordered. Mysterious one in a bubble thing. Another morning you love classic. Oh, there's like paper. Who I actually now that I think of it, I think I already had a misty. Okay, it's another Indian pudding. I think but that is it. So yeah, this is my new Briar Herd. Woohoo! Here they all are in all their glory. Maybe you will see new Briar Customs in the future. Maybe it'll be three to four business years. We don't know. If anybody is feeling like they want to get rid of all of their Briar horses and send them to me, we can do that. It makes a great unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the lady who sent me all of these. This has been DJB, and thank you so much for watching, and happy unboxing and collecting as crazy as me. I have a big mess to clean up. <laughs>